what's going on. In this lesson, you'll learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff at Giza by the one and only Om. Welcome to the Beholden to the Riff YouTube channel. I'm Jared. So if you're a fan of heavy music, play bass, just like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Might as well hit that notification bell and you know you can rest easy because you'll be the first to know when the videos come out. And we're gonna check out the second section of the song, At Giza, uh, one of my favorite home songs by far. And this one's off Conference of the Birds. So in this lesson, I'm gonna break it down into four distinct phrases. That way it's a little easier to learn, a little easier to digest. We're gonna go through measure by measure. I'm gonna highlight anything that I feel might help you along the way. If I notice any you know, cool parts or tips or tricks that might help you. There's gonna be a playthrough at the end. You'll see tabs with the video. If you want, you can download the tab. There's a link below, check it out. All right, this one's in standard tuning, so grab your racks, dial in a nice, fat, clean tone, throw a little delay on there, and let's get to it. Section starts off, we kind of lead into it with And this is kind of a theme throughout this section. That kind of indicates the start of a new kind of phrase within the section. All right, so the first phrase goes. First measure is the intro. Right? Second measure goes like this. So be sure to kind of hang on this. You know, it's probably more efficient to play with uh, third, or second and third, or even third and fourth fingers. Or goes like this. This is another theme we're gonna kind of revisit this okay next measure is features a slide from the seven to the ten so we're going to go open a hit the seven slide up to ten use your third finger then open d okay. then we're going to do the, the kind of chord thing here Then we start the next phrase. Just like just like always. Next measure goes. So we kind of hang on that. Here's the next measure. Kind of expanding on the theme here. Be sure to use your third finger to slide up from the eighth to the tenth. This one. And it starts with a slide in. Okay. From there, we're going to go comes down. Kind of do like a mini bar here. Third phrase starts the same way. I'm just going to play it right into the set, into the next measure. So the second measure kind of brings out this phrase here. Okay, then we're gonna add that drill. All right, so next measure is gonna go. Here's that last phrase. All right, we have a few slides in here. So we're gonna go open five on the A string. From here, we're gonna slide up to the 10th. We're gonna hit the 12 on the E string. Then it's this little run. Open three on the E. Oh, slide from three to five on the A. All right, the whole thing once again. Then we're back in. So for this part, I'm gonna play the next two measures just cause they kind of tie together. Then from there, we'll, we'll break it into smaller pieces. First part goes. So 
So the next phrase is kind of a bass line within a bass line. Um, he's going. So it's, so he's kind of going. All right, next measure. Okay, this is cool. He kind of adds like little grace notes. So here's the final phrase of that section. helped you out be sure to check out part one find a link in the description there's some cool stuff that's happening there that i think a lot of people miss thank you so much for checking out this video and we'll see you next time